What is going on guys, it's me Miles46HD here and in today's video I'm going to be doing the FIFA World Cup Bracket Challenge. And now this challenge is um, on the FIFA.com website so I'll leave a link in the description if you want to try it yourself. And I'm going to be doing two different predictions today. I'm going to be doing a prediction of what I want to happen and a prediction of what I actually think will happen. So uh, I'm obviously from England so this prediction that I'm first going to do is um, going to be... Uh, very unlikely, but we'll see what happens. So, in the first group for this this prediction, I reckon it's going to be Uruguay, and I think Egypt, because as much as I think Russia had the better like players who play in different playing better leagues, I feel Egypt have done quite well to even get to this stage. Where they've not done for in twenty six years. I think it's been twenty six, most likely. Uh, but yeah, oh, that's for Group A. And then Group B is pretty obvious. I think it's going to be Spain, then Portugal. Not Portugal, then Spain, because I think Spain have the better team, even though Portugal obviously have Ronaldo and Charisma. In terms of talent, I'd say Spain are a bit better. And then Group C was a bit of a hard one, because I was half debating between um, Denmark coming second or Australia coming second, because it's most likely France will top their groups. they got... Pretty much one of the easier groups out of um, uh, the uh, draw. And um, then I'm actually going to put Denmark second. And unfortunately, I'm going to say Australia are just going to miss out on the last 16. Oh, we've got two group B. Then we've got the last bit of group P, I think. Morocco will come third. And Iran, unfortunately, not being racist. But, it, but I think they will come fourth because it is their first time. And they've got a pretty tough group. Um. So next in Group D, we've got Ireland, uh, Iceland, sorry, Argentina, Croatia, and Nigeria. Now for this one, I'm gonna actually go Argentina first, not Croatia. Then I'm gonna go Croatia second. I think Ireland, Iceland, sorry, I keep saying Ireland. Iceland will actually come third because I think they'll they'll do well, but I don't think they'll do well enough with a talent that's in Group D. And then Group E, I'm gonna go with Brazil, then Costa Rica, which some of my mates are going to. Uh, uh, this summer for a trip with school, which looks pretty interesting. Fortunately, I didn't go on it because I didn't really want to. And then I'm going to say Switzerland are going to third and Costa Rica and Serbia fourth. And then the next one is, to be honest, in my sense, pretty obvious. Uh, Germany, I reckon, will come first. Then it's it's a big debate between Mexico and Sweden. But I have a funny feeling sweet Mexico, actually, are going to come second in the group. And Sweden are just going to miss out then. Korea, unfortunately, coming last. Uh, now on to the uh, the big group, the group that I actually have has my home nation in it, England. Um, now, England, I would say, unless it goes horribly wrong, are pretty much guaranteed a spot in the uh, in the uh, World Cup last thirty two. Uh, but I reckon you, I've got a bit of promising f for England, the England team, and I'm and I'm hoping that they can win the group. But that's what I'm going to put on this bracket challenge, and then obviously Belgium second. And I'm going to say Tunisia third, because Panama, it's their first time in the group, and or well, first time in the World Cup as it happens, and I reckon it's going to be quite difficult for them. Uh, now on to the final group, Group H. Now, Group H has got quite a mix of teams, but Colombia is the first choice I'm going to go with to, to top the group, and then Poland, and then after that, I'm going to go Senegal, and then last, Japan. And um, now we move on to the... Round of 32. I'll just move this down a bit. Right, so um, so next up we have the round of 16, and this is who will be the lineups if it does finish how I, how I would like it to. Um, so we've got Uruguay and Portugal. Now, Uruguay Portugal is obviously quite a big one because the rivalry between Ronaldo and um, Suarez in... Um, in the uh, La Liga at the minute is... Or, or just the season gone. It has been quite big, and I... I actually reckon Portugal are going to top them. It, it they just seem like seem like the better team as far as talent goes, in my opinion. But this is my opinion. It's it's not what I think will a hundred percent happen because of prediction. You can't tell whether it's going to happen or not. And then um, after that, um, France v Croatia. Now, France most likely would be the office option, but I'm actually quite debating this this game because Croatia have got quite a good side with the likes of Modric, Rakitic, Mandzukic, who have all played well this season. Obviously, Modric playing in the Champions League final tomorrow. When this video is going up, it will be tomorrow because I'm hoping to get this video up um, hopefully by the end of this afternoon. 
And um, yeah, I, I think I am actually going to go France because even though they haven't got like the likes of Lacazette and stuff, I think they're a very good team, to be honest. Right, and enough talking. I've done too much talking in this video. I need to get on with the prediction. Uh, now, the next one, I'm sorry, Mexico is pretty obvious because Brazil, their talent is just so good. And then after that, now, this is what I would like to happen, not not what I think would happen. So I would hope England would be able to beat Poland. But then when it comes to Brazil, we don't know, to be honest, what, what could happen at all. So, and then next... Um, uh, Spain, I reckon, are going to do it, and then and then Argentina, which will be quite a good quarter final, I reckon, because Spain and Argentina, obviously, quite a good good mixed mixture in La Liga of them two sides, and I think it'll be quite a good grudge match. Right now, onto the final one. Now, this one's pretty obvious. I'm going to go Germany, oops, Germany and um, Belgium, uh, both good sides with the likes of. Um, uh, De Bruyne, De Bruyne, Cruz, Muller. It's it, that'll be quite a good game. And uh, on to the uh, quarterfinals. Now, this is interesting because from what obviously this is the one that I would like to happen, and it'd be great if it does. I'd like to see see England get through against Brazil, regarding we we actually turn up during the game, and then hopefully I would like to see us play most likely Portugal because. Uh, I, w I went to watch them in a pre-season friendly, actually, um, back in June last year, before the Euros started, which obviously de devastating. The Euros don't really want to talk about it, I'm sure none of you want to hear it. And uh, the next um, uh, uh, semi-final I would like to see would be, uh, obviously, Argentina-Germany, obviously, the... Um, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the final from four years ago when... when uh, Ger Gertz has scored in the extra time to win it for him. And, um, yeah. And then on to the final. Obviously, I would, this is what I'd like to see. So, England versus... I'd say Germany, actually, because that will hopefully not bring back bad memories of the last time we played Germany. But hopefully bring back good memories of the 1966 victory over them to win the World Cup. World Cup. So, obviously, England are the ones I'd like to win it. And, um, you know... I, I don't know how likely it is it's going to happen, to be honest. It, it's a very, very, very tough competition. And over the last few years, obviously, not getting through the group, even in 2014, the game beat by Iceland in the Euros, and then back in 2010, we got beat by Germany. I think it's going to be an interesting challenge for England. Um, so, so yeah, that's uh, that's the prediction I would like to see. And um, I'm actually going to post um, another video a bit later with uh, the one that I actually think is going to happen, um, because uh, I'm running out of storage space on my phone, so I might have to uh, delete this video after I upload it, unless I don't think the video is good enough to post, because I don't post videos I don't think are good enough, because I don't think it's right. And um, and yeah, and also, if you'd like to um, have a go at this bracket challenge yourself, I will leave a link in the description to um, to the, the bracket challenge. And if you want to, you can actually enter the uh, the competition where you have the chance of winning two VIP tickets to a Madrid uh, Madrid game. I believe it's Atletico. I'll have to have a look myself. Um, but yeah, if you if you want to try it, leave a link in the description. I'll also, leave a link to my Twitter so you can tweet me what you guys think is going to happen. And yeah, I will see you all later. Bye.